Hey, hello friends, welcome to Be Learning Club. I'm just continue this playlist Journey with Python. I had covered just basics of Kinter. Now I will cover some mathematics with Python. And in this video, I will cover how can you find LCM in a array? How can you find LCM in a list? So this video will be amazing and I will make you understand more better. So just keep watching this video and keep learning. So let's start. So at first just import the math module. And now function to calculate the LCM of an array. So here I just comment out function to calculate LCM of any array. And you have to input the number so I just uh, create a function at first. So at first I just create DEA find LCM. So the function name is find LCM and pass a parameter and A. This is nothing but uh, this is a list or array you can say. And now LCM equal what? LCM equal int int of first array int of the first element of the array I just put a array here for better understand so here I just create a list 2 comma 3 comma 4 ok so later uh, here user will input this value ok so at first let it and now next create a for loop for i in range for i in range 1 to len a for i in range from where from 1 sorry from 1 to len of a okay so now lcm this variable equal what now this variable equal lcm into LCM into A and the ith element of A. LCM into A and the ith element of A. Now here I just use the floor division. So for floor division you just have to put double divided by. And just go to W3 school and here you can see plus addition minus for subtraction and for modulus just use percentage sign and for exponential just use two times multiplication sign and for flow division just use two time division sign so here i use just flow division and now just type math.gcd and math.gcd here just put two integer math.gcd function will take only integer so at first just put the lcm and then put the int ai so i will uh, here just convert ai to int ai so i just copy it and paste it here and you have to convert this element to an integer i will do it later but you have to convert this element into the integer otherwise it will not work and now just return lcm so this is the function to find lcm of any list to find lcm of any array ok so now here txt and here user will input the value so here just enter the numbers enter the numbers in u m b e r s and separated by comma like example e g 2 comma 3 comma 4 you have to put like this and separated by comma ok so next what we will do next just create a variable x equal txt 
ext dot split and split by comma and we just split this by comma and we will get an array or list now just print here just print your list and what is your list your list is x and now print now print the lcm of the array lcm of the array so what is the lcm of the array lcm of the array is just put the function find lcm and just put the array x but if you run it then you will get an error okay so just put the value 5 comma 10 comma 20 but you will get an error here str object cannot be interpreted as integer so you have to convert them into integers just convert ai into integers and this ai into integers and this a0 into integers so here just type int int and then type ai you have to convert them into integer otherwise it will not work so just remove ai and paste int of ai and here also just type lc equal int of a0 the first element of a and now just remove this and here just pass x okay so this x is what this x is the oh no sorry sorry here just put a because this is a parameter and this is the x this is our list this x is our list and a is the parameter and all are okay now run the function so just put the value like this 2 comma 3 comma 4 so just put 5 comma 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 so your list is 5 comma 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 and lcm of the array is 120 so just run it again and now just put this time 5 comma 20 comma 10 comma 40 the lcm will be 40 okay so what is the answer okay so the lcm will be 40 for 5 20 10 and 40 okay so this works successfully and this is the very easy way to find lcm of an array and remember you have to convert them into the integers otherwise it will not work and this is the function for find the lcm of an array so i hope you enjoy this video, keep learning and just follow this playlist. The playlist will be amazing. Thank you for watching this video. See you in next video. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.